Chaos 2 participants, here's the first look at your blank. I've got all of the individual blanks just sort of laid out and sorted out. Uh, next up, we'll start gluing them together and we'll figure out what the length of the blank is. And these pieces that extend a little too far, we'll cut those off and fill in uh, some of the shorter areas. There was a blank and a small blank left. Let me zoom in a little bit so you guys can kind of see your names on there. But we're going to start gluing up the two ups and from there we will uh, clean up and use up all these additional blanks we have our blank pieces I guess we'll call it all right time for me to get busy hello everybody uh, I just showed you your blank what it would roughly look like this is your blank glued up in rails of two these are the last two that are drying Tomorrow, we'll begin gluing all of these rails together to form a large blank, just like the Chaos 1 blank, and we will begin our 30-degree cuts. For all of my Chaos 2 folks, here is your blank. Let me take a nice slow pan so you can look for your name. We are ready to begin cutting our first set of 30 degree angles on your blank. I wanted to give everybody a quick shot of this chaos blank. I just completed glue ups after the first 30 degree cuts. And as soon as I finish this little video clip, we're gonna put it back on the table saw and make our second set of 30 degree cuts in the opposite direction. We'll begin glue up and the hope is I can cut, start cutting this into blanks tomorrow. To all of my Chaos 2 collaboration friends who've been waiting on their blank, you're one step closer. Here is the completed blank. It's dried overnight, 30 degree cuts in both directions. I'm ready now to cut segments off lengthwise with the grain, and then we'll take those to the bandsaw and cut them into five inch blanks. And one night this upcoming week, we'll have a little meeting, a private meeting where we will draw for who gets which blank. I have to apologize to my Chaos 2 folks. I meant to take a uh, shot of the full blank before I started cutting it into strips, but I got so excited about being able to do the cuts that I've already knocked about five strips off of it. So they're looking great. This is what they're going to look like. And uh, when we're done with cutting them into strips, I'm going to come over here to the bandsaw and we're going to make them into five inch blanks. I want to show you all of the individual strips of blanks. These look amazing. They are on their way to the bandsaw. And I've got the bandsaw set up with my little sled. And right here is the five inch mark. So we basically just start leaning them against this mark and cutting them off. And I'm gonna do the same thing with your Chaos One blanks that I did with, I'm sorry, with your Chaos Two blanks that I did with the Chaos One blanks. If I get down to the end and I can't get at minimum a three inch piece with cutting it off, I'm gonna leave the blank long. We ended up having a number of blanks that were um, about seven, seven and a half inches long. I think there were two or three of them. And I just put those in the mix and uh, a couple of people want them. So uh, yeah, you might have a shot at a little longer blank after we get everything cut into final length. Chaos 2 collaboration folks, here are your blanks. They look amazing. Take a look at those. I'm really happy with them. Let me show you something. Now it's hard to see on the front because of the stickers, but take a look at the side and take a look at the back. That's where you can really start to see that that blank is gonna be something incredible. These are all the five inch blanks here. They will all be in the drawing. Around this side of the table saw, 
we have these blanks. These blank range from five and a quarter inches all the way up to seven and three quarters. I just couldn't bring myself to cut them to a five inch blank because the pieces I cut off would have just been waste. I wouldn't have been able to use them. So these blanks will also be in the drawing and you have a potential to win a blank that is longer than uh, five inches. Now over here, we have something else. These are the shorties. Now this one actually is a five inch blank, but notice how it's got that little offset there. I wasn't sure if I should include that in the drawing or not because of the offset. I didn't know if somebody would be, you know, unhappy about receiving that. So I pulled it out. This is about four inches, maybe close to four inches, three and a half inches. These are the shorties. They won't be in the draw. I just finished a deep inspection of the blanks and I got them all numbered. And these six blanks I found problems with and I marked each of the problems. If you take a look, there's like a, see how you can see through there. I, I just have a bad glue joint between those two. Um, there was one of them, like that one there, at an angle. I just don't know. That, that looks like it uh, would go all the way through. I'm trying to give good quality blanks. I don't want to give people bad blanks if I can help it. So these six were the ones I pulled out. The rest of these all looked good. They've all been numbered. These will be in your draw. These will be in your draw. And I may try to work on fixing some of these. It depends on if I have the time. Um, otherwise... I'll just probably cut them into uh, shorter blanks, like with this being down here. I'll probably just cut uh, cut it off right there and uh, make that a, a Sierra blank. All right, I'm excited. Tonight, I'll put together the uh, draw list and uh, the distribution list for all the people who are in the drawing, and uh, we'll pick a day. I know Monday, I'm supposed to be dropping some uh, video links to the Chaos One folks uh, to see if they want to purchase any of the remaining blanks before I make them available to everybody else. But uh, I'll keep you guys posted on what's happening.